Next up, fix an issue preventing pass blockers from handing off pass rushers to other blockers versus defensive line crash inside. Now this here is probably going after the, uh, the mid blitz. One of the biggest things that everybody was talking about was change the camera angle, change the camera angle, change the camera angle. It looks like they actually did that. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable muck coins, check out my sponsor at MOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT to get 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The is here. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. In today's video, we have a massive title update for Madden NFL 25. I'm going to go over the patch notes that were released. There was a lot of really important changes. And there was also a lot of confusion this morning as a lot of people got on and took the things like Twitter, uh, took the things like Reddit to say, hey, why is my uh, friend franchise not available a lot of people thought their franchises were deleted so i'm gonna get into all that but before i do as always if you want to see more videos like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section now starting off there was information last night that they were going to do a server uh, maintenance around 6 a.m which is typically when they do that typically when they do that they gate off pretty much access to most platforms and i think the server update took longer than they were expecting because the patch notes didn't come out till about noon where typically they come out around 11 uh, and there was a lot of issues where people couldn't access um, their their online uh, franchise or maybe even their offline franchise. I'm not really sure about that. But a lot of people were saying that their franchises were gone. That everybody thought they were deleted because that happened last year around the same time uh, where they deleted like 80% of franchises and everybody had to start over. So if you're still having issues, if you still don't have access to your franchise, let me know in the comment section uh, because I'm curious to see how many people are still having that problem. But for the most part, it seems like everybody got their franchises back. They posted something saying they were having an issue with crossplay uh, when it came to both franchise and superstar mode but it says that all the files have been restored but it also does say that we do recommend hard resetting your game and making sure you're on the latest game update prior to accessing your league so if you don't do that there might be a chance that you have further issues so try that out now I wasn't aware that there was an issue when it came to crossplay. I feel like they're trying to work out the bugs on Madden before they bring it to college so I wouldn't be surprised if eventually we see uh, crossplay added to college football 25 later this year at some point but that's really my theory about this they're really trying to perfect it in madden before they bring it to uh, their golden goose in college so let's go ahead and let's get into the gameplay notes uh one of the first ones is a new ability to save custom audibles across all modes which is something once again they just added to college football 25 last week uh so basically whenever you're in a game mode if you want to change your audibles they will save throughout the entire game so if you're playing offline online doesn't really matter once you change your audibles in your playbook uh that's it they're going to be they're going to be saved uh for the rest of the time until until they make an update or something i really don't know but basically it says here you're allowed to do this for up to 32 playbooks which was also the amount even though there's 134 playbooks in college or more like 140 in college um, you can only do it in 32 playbooks. So it sounds like this was designed for Madden. And the funny thing was they actually had server maintenance planned the day before college football last week, uh, but nothing happened. They never released any patch notes. So whatever they were trying to implement, it was probably this. It didn't take. They couldn't do it. I don't know what the issue was. And they finally got to work today. So like, it seems like they're like a week behind in getting this included into the game. But you can now save, uh, you know, which is really cool, by the way. You can save custom audibles, which is something that I'm already having a fun time with in college. I'm glad they brought it to Madden. Next up, another issue they have a lot is a lot of times you'll try to click onto a fender, but they're already in like a SWAT animation for a very casual pass. Well, it says they tuned to increase the chances of AI controlled defenders attempting interceptions rather than SWATs on catchable passes this is something that college football needs too because i swear every time i'm playing my offline dynasty um i try to go i try to click on real quick and catch get an interception and it just doesn't happen the, the computer's already swatted the ball down it's like so stupid uh they also says that they tune to make ai control receivers play more aggressively uh to the catch point when targeted uh which is something that i think is actually probably negative there's a lot of rocket catching going on i'm actually working on a video right now uh for tomorrow now since i'm gonna put this video today but for uh, college football where uh, rocket catching just seems overpowered and a lot of people are rocket catching in madden as well so i don't know why uh they're basically trying to make uh you know ai receivers uh more aggressive because once you switch on it's just going to make rocket catching that much easier but only time will tell i know a lot of patches that ea has put into the game this year has been a step backwards like when they said that they worked on the cover three outside cornerbacks they bite on everything now you can beat you can beat them with any route <laughs> to make them drop down and just throw a post right over the top of them it's horrible uh, but there's, you know, that, the kicking meter that they changed, a lot of things that people don't like. This one here could be one that people complain about. Uh, so, you know, I'll just leave it at that. 
Uh, it also says tuning to improve wide receivers' feet staying in balance on catch will pass near sideline. So now you can rock a catch and toe tap at the same time. Isn't that amazing? Uh, fixed an issue where AI controlled quarterbacks would check the ball down to the receiver coming out of the back field too frequently when they're not under pressure. Another thing that, um, you know, th I mean, yeah, it's really hard. If you're playing on all Madden especially, it's really hard to stop a computer uh, from completing a, a lot of check downs, dink and dunk passes. It's really hard to get sacks on all Madden, so maybe that's what that's aimed at. Next up, it says, fix an issue preventing defensive backs from matching uh, press animations when running cover one rob or press defensive play against streak, curl, and inside release dig routes. I'm not really sure what that is, but I do know that I was playing in a game uh, and it's like if you're if somebody's running a hurry up, sometimes they'll switch. I switched over to a cover one, and for whatever reason, they double team the slot receiver and just let the tight end get wide open down the seam. And that's something once again that was a college football game once again. But I know it happens. It's just the same engine, a lot of the same patches. It happens in both games, so I hope that's what they're talking about. Because sometimes if somebody's running a hurry up on you, or you switch over to a man coverage defense for some reason, and you're seeing it in the play art a lot too, where the play art just isn't showing man coverage assignments, and then the play starts and they're manning somebody else. It's, it's insane. It makes man coverage dangerous to run. I hope that's what they're talking about. Next up, it says fixed an issue causing the QB to keep the ball on a run play when using multiple pre-play adjustments at the same time. Not really familiar with that one. Next up, fixed an issue preventing pass blockers from handing off pass rushes to other blockers versus defensive line crash inside. Now, this here is probably going after the uh, the mid-blitz meta, which I actually just put made a gameplay about yesterday, once again, in college. But basically, when people just pinch the line and crash them all inside, you get these disengaged uh, pressures that's been kind of ruining the gameplay for a lot of online players. So that looks like they are attempting to fix that. It also says, uh, fixed a rare issue causing the ball to warp through a defender's body when attempting to make an interception. I've seen that too. I didn't know that's what it was doing, but I've seen that too where it's like, why didn't I get an interception there? What just happened? So yeah, so they're fixing a lot of bugs or trying to because you never really know if EA actually fixed them until you play the game. But a lot of attempts here says tuning to improve, or could just be lip service, tuning to improve the preservation momentum in physics-based tackling. I've not seen physics-based tackling all year. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. As you see some of the wonkiest tackling animations ever in this game. I don't know what they're trying to, they're still trying to sell that, that this is physics-based. There's no physics here. It says tuning to improve collision on dive tackle to make contact with the ball carrier's upper leg. Uh, I mean, honestly, have you ever seen tackle animations in general in this entire game? They're horrible. Uh, it just seems like there's no, like there's no like they're not making contact with anything, and now they're trying to target specifically when you dive to contact a ball carrier's upper leg, which is cool. Maybe that'll make tackling a little bit better. I mean, they need they need to improve tackling. Period. So this is an attempt, at least. So hopefully, it's something that changed. And then it says, tune to improve player falls on collision between ball carriers and defenders. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The animations are just ridiculous. And they barely work. It almost looks like, you know, like 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 two boxes trying to tackle each other. Two balls trying to tackle each other. I don't understand. It's, it's so weird the way the animations are. But that's it for all the, um, the gameplay changes. Uh, and, and when it comes to uh, superstar mode, not a lot. When it comes to online head-to-head -head ranked, not a lot. Again, it just says general stability fixes. I don't really know what to say there. I mean, I did point out in last Friday's video um, that there was a glitch with playbooks and stuff like that where you could not use if you if you if you had somebody quit against you, you would basically like it would reset your playbooks to default. And for some reason, I think I was getting Arizona's offensive and defensive playbooks every single game, no matter what team I used, no matter what I did. I did make a video on how to on how to fix that, so I'll have that at the end of the of the video if you guys want to check that out. Um, on screen because it is a very game-breaking bug that if it does happen to you it basically makes the game unplayable and that was actually the title because it was it was just like it was so to the point where I wanted to get my money back next up we have presentation it says tune pre-snap field of view and standard gameplay camera to more closely remember Madden NFL 24 now Early this morning, when everybody was complaining about losing, potentially losing their franchises, one of the biggest things that everybody was talking about was change the camera angle, change the camera angle, change the camera angle. It looks like they actually did that. It said added gameplay camera called standard alternate that resembles the default gameplay camera in EA College Sports or EA Football College Football 25, which is a really superior camera angle in my opinion. That's the one I, I think that's the standard and I use. Very good camera angle. So they changed a couple things when it comes to your ability to uh, to use camera angles. And then last but not least, we have a lot of new uh, art and a lot of new audio changes. 
which is something they said they're going to be fixing or updating throughout the entire year. It says the Texans uniform and field fixes, Chiefs uniform and updates to pant stripes, new cleats. You got the Adidas Chaos and the Jordan 11 mid. Then you have some new face masks, a lot of new face masks. You have the Speed Flex Robot, Jagged, Speed Flex, Junior Cross, Axiom 2-Bar Jagged. I mean, I'm not going to go over all these. I'll try to put up a picture of all the stuff that they have here uh, because obviously you're not going to get a lot of information just reading off a lot of helmets. But there's a lot of new helmets and a lot of new face masks from the look of it. Uh, face masks is cool, is cool. I always like to add, like, you know, the face mask adjustments is always the best. I like to put my entire team on face masks because it just looks it just looks crazy. Uh, then we have a lot of new audio. Added new commentary from Brock Heward, uh, from Kate Scott, and Mike Tirico. I know a lot of people complained that Kate Scott had a very small amount of audio things that she could say. Made the game feel a lot less uh, authentic. And that says, fix an issue where commentary would incorrectly reference the game location. Fix an issue where commentary would mention a missed point after attempt for, ev- <laughs> for every subsequent kickoff by that same kicker. It didn't say what kicker it was. But apparently that was, you know, some of these are embarrassing. It says, fixed an issue uh, where commentary would not be interrupted by a successful two-point conversion. And there's a lot of issues where commentary is not interrupted on time. Like, you're clearly gone. There's nobody near you. And it isn't until you get to, like, the 30-yard line. And then they start saying, hey, and he's going to score. You know what I mean? Like, some of the commentary is terrible uh, in both games. And then it says, uh, fixed an issue where... Uh, commentary would incorrectly mention how the previous drive concluded coming out of a super sim fixed an issue where incorrect commentary would be heard for a single season receiving touchdowns record fixed an issue where commentary would incorrectly reference the score differential at the end of the game fixed an issue where Madden theme song would continue to play after selecting resume activity on the PlayStation 5 home screen. So lots of commentary changes. It's really funny to see some of the bugs and some of the miss, uh, some of the misses that they've had before that. As I'm sure there's still a lot more. I'm sure they didn't get them all. Uh, but still, a lot of really good uh, stuff that was fixed. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future or you want to check out the uh, video I made about that other bug, I'll have that popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. I'm out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.